the Chase Thomas podcast for people who have nothing but time to kill. Lions with Jamison Williams, who looks back to his old self. And if the, Jamison Williams is back to Alabama, Jamison Williams, that's something we haven't seen because you already got a Mon Ross A. Brown. You have the tight ends. I mean, you look at this. Are we now looking at Detroit Lions, NFC legitimate I'll, contender? I'll say it right now. They're unequivocally better than the Eagles are right now. The Eagles Ooh. have not looked like the Eagles. Don't give me that look, JP. I knew you were going <laughs> to say something. Dude, the Eagles offense has been mid. Also, and they finally ran into a defense where they couldn't continue to be mid where they could get away with it, and it bit them in the butt, where Jalen Hurts looked terrible, and it finally caught up with them. Like, Does Jalen Hurts finish more picks than touchdowns this year? No. Like, he'll be fine. The, they'll be yeah. overall fine, but they are not looking like what they did last year. And in terms of, I'm in half the screen now. Uh, in terms of what that has looked like for them so far, like they look the Patriots. This is a there whole. You go. There you go. Your point. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so you look at how they've played overall this season. They looked really bad in Week One against the Patriots. They didn't look mm -hmm. great against the Vikings. They didn't look great against Tampa. They put up points against Washington, but the, in that same game, they also let Washington put up a ton of points and had to come back in the fourth quarter and go to overtime to beat them. And then you play against a really good Jets defense and you play like hell. Like they have not looked good at all this season. Now defensively, they've been pretty solid, but. Offensively, like right now, they are a shell of what they were last season. So, right, I'm very, I'm much more confident in Detroit right now than I am Philadelphia. I'm gonna say pump the brakes on that just a, just a little bit. I would consider the Lions in the same tier as the Eagles and the Niners. The only Eagles takeaway I have from that game is Lane Johnson is the best offensive lineman in football. He's very and good. Mm. When Lane Johnson goes out of the game, you can tell when Lane Johnson goes out of the game. The same way you can tell when an all-pro corner leaves the game, the same it's the same thing with an all-pro right tackle because you can just forget about everything else on the right side of the offensive line because Lane Johnson's right there. You it doesn't matter. Um, this was just a very like it was an out of character game for the Eagles. I'm willing I'm willing to give them a mulligan. They'll be fine. Um, Detroit is really good, like capital G good, and the biggest thing is their defense has finally turned it around. They have gotten really good up front. And they kind of they kind of manhandled the uh, the the Bron not Broncos the the Bucks I, I think it was the orange jerseys that threw me off the Bucks mm. on Sunday um, you know if they can get that offensive line not offensive line the defensive line playing really well with how man how that offense can just beat you in any way possible they're legitimately NFC contenders and you you, you mentioned the defense last year the Lions finished thirty first in defensive EPA per play they're seventh and defensive EPA right now. So just a massive jump that they've taken and credit to all those guys. And they, they went defensive heavy this season and the off season, they brought in a bunch of, they, they bring in Cam Sutton, they bring in Emmanuel Mosley, they bring in Gardner Johnson. They uh, draft uh, the linebacker from Iowa. Is it Jack Campbell, uh, Brian Branch as well. Like they have had dudes on that side of the ball show up and it's, it's paid dividends on the field. I just am curious because now you're you're looking at the top of the NFC. I think it's just it, it that's those three. I don't see anyone else creeping in uh, this year. I think it's going to come down to those three. But the fact that we're talking about Lions could actually get out of the NFC. I mean, the first year you're actually looked at as a NFC North favorite for them to really be in that spot is pretty amazing. Um, plus, shout out to uh, Jared Goff too. In his last 17 games, 29 touchdowns, four picks, and like 4,700 yards or something like that. He's he's bald. I wouldn't say they're in the top three of the NFC, and I know they did lose on Sunday, but the Seahawks are playing really good. Oh, uh, the, we the got Seahawks they're are, better than the Seahawks though. The Seahawks. They're better. They they lost to the Seahawks it's this just, year. It, yeah, meh. Tossing it out. Yeah. We toss it out. <laughs> We There's toss it out. No, toss it out. No, we don't leave it on the field on this show. We're all theoretical like, on this. Thing, like the, this look, the Browns just beat the 49ers, and no one's saying that the Browns better than San Francisco, though. I'm, you not know what I mean? it's true. I'm not saying they're better than the Lions. I'm saying the Seahawks are playing very good football right oh, now. Absolutely. And they yeah. might not be in the same tier as the Lions, Eagles, Niners, but if we're talking like teams that can make a run in the NFC, the Seahawks should definitely be considered among those teams. The defense has played phenomenally now now that everybody is healthy they got jamal adams back devin witherspoon in the slot is a Dude. machine amazing 
The offense looked rough in the red zone, but that's kind of like a high variance thing. They've normally been good in the red zone. The Sunday was rough, but offense remains very good. Geno Smith remains very good. They can make a run in this NFC. And it's really tough to say because I know how they just looked. And I know how they looked against the Niners. Dallas is still like they're they're still among those teams that can make a run. That those are probably the only five teams that you say like can make a run in the NFC. Dallas is like the uh, the Anthony Davis peeking around the corner meme. Like I I need to see more from Dallas, but I, they're they're still there. I think Dallas, if they win the division, I'm looking at it where I'm like, yeah, they can they can win the NFC. I'm monitoring. I think if they're the a wild card team, I just. We've seen the wild card Dallas Cowboys too many times. I just uh, I don't think they're running the gauntlet as a wild card team. I don't know. That's my gut. Um, 